cookie eggs. No, you didn't. I 100% did. Bro, the, the egg came out of your f***ing sandwich. That's gross, bro. That's actually so good. Yo, I'm dipping. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm out of here. So before I start the vlog, wow, I took a freaking I'm just gonna let you know, I lied in the last video. I said I was gonna make a video in a month, but the truth is I couldn't wait that long and I also don't have enough space to save video after video after video. And it would have been three meets that I would have had to record. And that's a lot of storage that it would have taken up on my laptop. So I decided not to, and I decided to make this video a vlog. I was initially gonna make it a documentary. So that's why it has the cinematic black bars at the top and bottom. And my face is cut out a lot. So I have to work on getting actual footage of my face without cutting my chin or my hair, but I'll work on that in the future. Anyway, now that that's out of the way and you know I'm not making a documentary, I'm actually gonna just make video by video and eventually kind of figure out what my style is, what I want to do with YouTube and all of that. Once I make more videos, more videos, and I get an idea of what I'm actually gonna be doing, I'm gonna have more of a clear idea of what my videos are gonna be like, and I'm actually going to execute as I say, for the most part, hopefully. But anyway, because this was gonna be a documentary, this started on Monday after school. We had a meet against Amityville, or however you pronounce it. I'm not gonna spoil anything, but basically it started off slow, and towards the end it got kind of messy where we didn't know what the points were, there was a mistake in the point scoring, and so we thought we were gonna win. But then we found out that we weren't going to win, and then we found out that maybe we were going to win, and you'll see what the ending actually is. But uh, it, it's messy, I don't have footage of all the races, I have a lot of me talking, a lot of me just kind of narrating what's going on. But uh, I'm going to commentate a little bit on each part that is kind of unclear, especially towards the end, you'll see that it's kind of messy, you might not get, especially if you're not a runner or you don't do track and you haven't been to any meets, you'll kind of be confused. So I'm going to clear up uh, towards the end. Me sitting here speaking and kind of just explaining to you what's going on. So now I'll get right into that day's footage. Okay, so school already ended and um, the meet is going to start at 4.30 and it's 2.55 right now. And because I'm not running because I'm still recovering from surgery, I'm going to be using the elliptical today uh, for 30 minutes, 40 minutes and uh, just to get some exercise in. And I'm going to go out to the meet and record everyone setting up. All right, so that workout's done. Uh, man, I can't stress enough how much I hate the elliptical. It just feels like I'm not even getting a workout in. Anyway, I'm in the locker room now. Uh, gonna get changed to head out. So I literally just sat down and I sat on a piece of gum. And now it's in my shorts. Look at that. It's so annoying. So on paper, they seem to be the stronger team on the sprinting side, but um, we, m we might have them in distance, but I don't want to say too much because maybe we, we, we might not. You never know how a race is going to turn out, uh, but on paper, they're the stronger sprinting team. But we'll see how it turns out. Second does it now. Second? Sure, second. Yeah, so we also got third in long jump. Curtis right here got third. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is kind of cool. Like, it's kind of weird at yeah. first, like putting a camera in front of you, like holding your hand. But like, after a while, like, it's kind of like normal. No, no, hey, stay off the field. Stay no, off the field. no, no. Important people only. Vlog. <laughs> hurdles, hurdles just went off. All right, well, that was a that was an easy win. Get the second low! meet's coming right now. All good, all good, all good. Fell twice. Pretty proud of that. Yeah. They only have one guy in the 1600 right now. Never mind, two guys. All right, guys, last lap. Uh, coach, what's the score right now? Currently, it's 18 to 9. Too early to really start saying anyway he's winning. One, two, three in the mile. That's a sweep for the mile. That's nine points right there. Perfect. Fifty-one eight open not relay split. That's that's crazy. He just ran fifty one eight. Uh Mikey. Yeah. What do you think so far, Mr. Ellis? I think we're gonna take this, man. I think it's us. All right, A Hunter's about to go off. Oh, 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 
think that's a one, two, three win for sure. There we go, son. Sparta hurdles just went out. Too much, too much of the meat still left to decide anything right now. We've got one, two, three in the two miles, so that's big points right there, nine points. And the high jump just finished, and we got uh, first with Jack Michael jumping six feet, and third with Luke jumping five eight. So at this point, I just talked to Coach Ryan, who told me that the race was actually really close in points, even though I thought we were way ahead because we had been winning a lot of races and getting first, second, and third places in a lot of races, especially the distance events. So I walked over to Coach Christian to find out what the score actually was at this point. This is what he told me. 66 to 51. So we need five more points. If we get five more points anywhere, we're yes. guaranteed to win. Yeah. That is amazing. That is great. No, it's been a really nice meet. You guys have put on a spectacular show for me. I like it. I'm out. They're running the 4 bay with you guys. We only need one relay to win. That's a nice little We only need five points to win. So, And Sean? Yep. And Sean. All right, we'll make sure. Let's go. Oh, it's, going Kieran, it's going Kieran, Armel, Sean, Gavin. Something just happened in Discus where now we need to win both relays instead of one. Uh, two out of three relay, relays. So 4x8 is pretty much a guaranteed win, but 4x4 four four might not be. So we'll, we'll see. So it's a good ending. What happened in Discus was that they confused the scoring, I believe, and we thought we had a number of points that we actually didn't have so at this point the 4x8 was already loaded with a bunch of guys because uh we needed to win that relay because we thought we needed those five points in order to win but because we loaded the 4x8 we were not left with our best guys for the 4x4 so we decided not to run the 4x4 and then turns out when they actually got the scoring clear in the discus and they cleared everything up and we knew what the actual score was Ermel came to tell me this Bro. We just won that by a point. <laughs> really? Yeah. Wait, is that? Oh, wait. Because like because 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 we didn't run the four by four four by four because of Kieran and Gavin ran the four by eight, they would have sixty five. So even if they won the four by one, that would be an extra five points. We have seventy one, and if they won the four by one, they would have seventy. So we just technically won by one point. Even if, if they win the next two, which they are gonna win the next two, one extra point made a difference, and that's literally the reason why. We're so mathematically. Turns out we had 71 points and there were only two relays left and each relay is five points for the winner, zero points for the loser. And so because we had 71 points and they had 60, even if they won the four by four and the four by one, which were the last two relays left, they would have ended up with 70 versus our 71. So we ended up winning by one point. But without Kamra, without Dylan, without, um, who else are we missing? Justin? You know, uh, those are three scores, so it got closer than it should have, but, you know, it's fine. It's over now. <laughs> so, no one really knew what was going on until Coach got everyone together and let us know that we actually won the meet, so it wasn't a lot of hype. No one was going crazy about it. It just happened, and people found out one by one individually. And so when Coach got everyone together, this is how the meet ended. All right, so I said at the beginning of the meet that we had to fight every event in every place. I'm sure there's no one here that has not heard that the score was 71 to 70 at the end. Yes. Was it really? Yes. Anybody today that scored, that fought for that third place, that fought for that second, when they shouldn't have gotten it, made the difference today. Not one person did, but anyone that came here to play, performed what they could or above to get in the scoring position made the difference today. That's two meets now where we have won by less than three points. Um, but you know what? Now it goes. No! You I told you guys at the end of the game that up we had four <laughs> more to win. Now we have two. If we win wine dance. Just have Sable left to go. Yeah, you know yeah. what? Today was hard. And what today Preach. showed me, just like the Miller Place meet, is that we are willing to fight for that third place. And that is what is going to make the difference in these next two dual meets, <laughs> especially Sayville. I need people that were just out of the scoring position this meet <laughs> to come and be ready to score in Sayville. Right. We are not out of this league, league championship run yet. We are right in there. 
right here with Sayville right now. The only two teams that have gone 3-0 so far, and we got to make sure that we're the only one that goes 5-0. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 Bring it on in! Hands on three! Hands on three! One, two, three!